Hi, I'm Kevin Vile. Welcome back to Lantern of Nosal Gaia. I used King K. Roll's crown to uh, up our like Estus flask usage. I'm just back in that one area with all the shortcuts. Okay, so that's this area. That's where that leads. So let's go back up here. I'm gonna try that scarecrow mask on. And I guess this. Wow, that is horrifying. Something Leatherface would wear. Oh, that's more. That's much more approachable. Very friendly. But I'm gonna stick with the Golden God. But that is what we are. Oh, jeez, startled me. Screw you. Two? Ow, what the hell was that? A little scarecrow got me, I guess. Ah! Oh, damn, Jesus Christ, he just vanished. Very cinematic. Is that a merchant? Where's my weapon? Alright, well, I'm gonna go down and see if that merchant wants to sell me anything. Because I have a lot of money. Because I forgot to level up. Because I am stupid, and I'm going to stop saying the word I now. All in favor of say I. <laughs> How you doing? Ow! Oh my word! Merchant, do you have- oh, you're- you're not a merchant, you're a dead guy! There's so many dead guys! Screw this, I am out of here! Jesus Christ, is there anyone in this damn forest who is not dead or trying to murder me? Oh, crap. Okay, maybe they're gonna lay off while I'm... What is going on now? Yeah, 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 you skull kid wannabe. I wonder if I should play Zelda games on the channel. That'd be kind of cool. I've never played any. Except Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Of course, I gotta find a way to actually play the damn things. I can always emulate. Hollow skull. Damn, I can wear their skulls. I assure you, I'm not above emulating. I mean, I'm Captain Vile. You think I'm not gonna pirate something? Oh. Drat. Probably needed it while I was... I uh, probably didn't pick up the item while I was fleeing very heroically from those monsters. Hmm. Alright, does the path keep going? The path goes this way. That's because I'm backtracking. Well, now that is a bit suspect. Well, I am a hero. I might as well save the child. Goddamn rabbits. You need never trust forest animals. If something in the woods asks you what your name is, do not tell it what your name is. You won't be able to leave the forest. It's a fae. And do not encourage your children to put tooth, their teeth under pillowcases, because that is encouraging children to sell body parts to fays for currency. It's fae propaganda.
Remember the simple phrase, a phase favorite way of paving the way to hell is deceit. What is that noise? As we all know, Captain Vile is very against phase. But don't let the phase know that, or Captain Vile will be lost to the woods. I have made it my mission to prevent Fey propaganda. Ever since my sister kicked out my two front teeth when I was five, and I had to spend two years eating sandwiches by biting the front bit off of my molars, I tested Fey's because the tooth fairy didn't give me my goddamn quarter. Because the, the dentists had my teeth. Not me. That's, I, I don't talk about my numerous injuries very often, but I, am, I was a very injury-prone child, like you just heard. Uh, through the ages of five and seven, I did not have my two front teeth, because my sister, while we were uh, jumping up and down on our parents' bed, uh, despite their numerous warnings, she attempted to do a backflip and then kicked me in the face. I then was kicked off of the bed, landed on the ground with a loud thud alerting our parents, and had blood pouring out of my mouth. Uh, we then went to the hospital. I had to get a shot, which I did not like, despite the fact we were at the dentist's office, and they said that uh, my teeth would not be growing back for a good while. I don't know how. But I have all the goddamn proof I need. Oh. Damn it, I'm dead. Oh, do your little dance, you little rodent. But yes, it was a very tedious two years of... I, I served every meal, everything that wasn't eaten with a fork, I had to bite with my molar. I had to bite it off with my molars and then chew it with my molars. It was awful. I, why am I back here? Oh, because I... I rested here and then I didn't rest at the... Okay. Well, on the way back, I can tell you another... Like... As, as you would think... Or, uh, not as you would think, most of my injuries in my childhood are relating to my mouth. Like, I wasn't a kid who, like, skinned his knee while going on a scooter. No. Uh, so in addition to losing my two front teeth for two years, I'm missing part of my tongue. I still am to this day. Now, the way I lost this piece of my tongue, it's the front part, by the way. So, you know how you can, like... Uh, how, what is it? I'm gonna, oh, I should probably go rest here. How you can, like, get piercings, and another thing is you can, like, get a bit of your tongue cut off, so it's like a snake tongue. I have that, but, um, unwillingly, and since I was, like, a kid. So, the way I did it is in a skateboarding accident. Yes, you're, you heard that correctly. I lost part of my tongue in a skateboarding accident. Now you may be thinking to yourself, Captain Vile, I didn't know you could, uh, you knew how to ride a skateboard. And no, I don't know how to ride a skateboard. That's how I got in the accident. So, to preference this, uh, oh wait, no, hang on. To give some context. Uh, me and my siblings were playing some kind of cops and robbers-esque thing where there were two robbers and one cop, but the cop was on a skateboard, uh, since they had an, uh, so it would be faster. Me, being a complete idiot and not knowing how to ride a skateboard like my other two siblings, just decided... Are they going to come in here? Yeah. They just kind of vanished for some reason. Anyway, 
uh, decided to stay, or I lied down on the skateboard uh, and kind of like paddled with my arms in order to move because I didn't want to fall and hurt myself, which is really ironic because I, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I'm going the wrong direction. This goddamn forest is a maze. Anyway, I was having fun with my siblings. God damn it. I was having fun playing cops and robbers with my siblings while I was uh, lying on the ground, or lying on the skateboard and pulling myself with my hands. So I was having fun and I laughed. And I had my, my tongue out while I was laughing and my head was like over the skateboard. And my tongue got caught in the wheel. I'm serious. That is one of the most painful things I've experienced. And while playing lacrosse, I got hit in the balls of a steel pole. Okay, that was way more painful, but... Like, that's, that's up there. That's like top five. That's a whole other story. You guys didn't know I played lacrosse, did you? But yeah, no. So, I am now lying on this skateboard with part of my tongue missing. Uh, and my brother and sister go run to get my parents. Now, the funny part of this story is that my parents saw like bit of my t a bit of my tongue missing and just went, uh, I don't really want to take him to the emergency room. Just put a popsicle in his mouth. And they did. So, for 45 minutes, I sat in the house with my parents consoling me with a push pop in my mouth. And it kept melting, so I had to have like three of them. Which I guess was kind of cool. But, I mean... I would rather have all of my tongue than more than the normal amount of push pops I would normally get. Because, you know, I liked having a complete tongue. I also liked being able to go near skateboards without afraid of it happening again. I have not touched a skateboard ever since. Where is my stuff? Seriously, I had like 20,000. I'm not losing that. Where did I run off to exactly, actually? Okay, I lit the thing. Uh, since we're on the topic of injuries, I'll tell you about the me getting hit in the balls of a steel pole story. I was playing lacrosse. And I play defense. Am I going the right way? I don't think I'm going the right way. Now in defense, you get hit uh, a lot. But you get hit in like the shoulders and the stuff. It's to make you drop the ball while you're cradling it. Oh, here we go. However, the guy on the enemy team did not go for that. Instead, he took a golf club-like motion and full force swung at me and hit me in the balls. Which is... Um... Now, just a, a, a like, kind of kick with your foot, barely any momentum, is enough to, like send someone to their knees and do they just drop on the ground. I nearly vomited. I can see you. What the hell? I, I sent him to hell. I, I sent him directly to hell. Anyway, the kid got a penalty and I didn't go to a bench or anything. I just was like, oh, how are you alright, Sawyer? And I, like, water, I, like, 
tears coming out of my face. Alright, yeah, that's fine. And then they sent me back in to play defense. And this is not similar to the skateboard story in which, and I never played lacrosse again. No, I played lacrosse for like a couple more years. And I hated it. Because my parents forced me to play lacrosse. Because they wanted me to have teamwork skills or whatever. And it didn't work. It just made me hate the kid who hit me in the balls, and I never met him again. I did hate my coaches, though, but that was unrelated. I just hated them in general. Because I'm like, oh, they're, they're making me do this, my parents are making me do this, and I hate this, it sucks. I want to go home and play video games or something. Just stuff like that. I did play numerous sports as a kid growing up, though. Never more than like a year, though. Except for lacrosse. Lacrosse I played for several years. But I mean, I played like baseball, basketball, football. I mean, it was t uh, flag football. My parents didn't want me getting brain damage. Even though I already acted like I have brain damage. Through many of my... What is that? Stupid decisions. Um, it's garden something. Oh, look at that. It's the world's most determined idiots. Except for the guy with the sword. He's... Uh... And he's, he's pretty strong. He's got a lot of health, too, actually. I don't want to fight the guy with the sword at all. He's pretty threatening. He is, in fact, very threatening. Could you get, like, staggered or something? Or have, like, a crit hit? Jesus, man. Cut me some slack. Look, like I'm fighting a mini-boss. Good God. Uh, is it worth... That's like a corrupted toad monster. We fought one of those earlier. I fought him off screen for souls. I'm just gonna run in and steal that item. Ow. Ow, ow. I didn't want to roll backwards. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Goodbye. Why? Where is your health? I didn't hit you once. I didn't have a chance at this. I don't know if I have a chance at this. I got a crit hit. I apparently did have a chance at this. That goddamn skeleton with the sword was more threatening. Okay, so where do I go? I mean, the path is leading this way. Right? Am I going the right way? Try patience and curiosity. I hate these weird little scarecrow enemies. Um, there's a little path I saw the other scarecrow run down. Right over here. I guess I'll keep going. What? 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 Poison fog? That's not fair. Okay, so I gotta light another one of the crystals, apparently. Oh, hello again. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hate you. Okay. Is that a door over there? I don't know. I feel like these guys are guarding something other than that key. Try luring. Not a bad idea. That would work. Um. But this guy, I don't know. I don't think. 
I mean, the key isn't here. Mm. I have to end this video. I'll find a spot where I know there's no enemies. I'm not going to get, like, surprised. And uh, just end it here. Alright, thank you for watching. Good vile.